Hello and welcome to the 2016-2017 Ferris State Women's Basketball Preview. I'm Rob Bentley and joined by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kendra Faustin. And coach, first of all, I'm, I'm sure you're excited about another season of Bulldog basketball. Absolutely. We're, um, we're starting the season at a different place, which is really exciting. I still have my voice. Last year I couldn't speak at this point in time in the season. Um, so it, it's, been a, it's been a great first week. Um, we, just, we have a lot of new personnel and um, we're certainly starting at just at a different place. We have half of our team knows what we do, how we do it, what to expect, and has done a great job helping our, our new players um, understand those things. So, yeah. Talk about the, the foundation that was laid in year one and, and how that will help you get moving out here early on in year two. Yeah, we talked about someday we would, we would celebrate last year and, and, and what we endured and, and um, the adversity that we overcame and certainly showing a lot of character in doing so. But, um, but that, is, that is the point. It was a foundation and um, those short-term sacrifices to get our program and, and build our program to a championship level um, – they're showing now. I mean, we can walk in and we know our defensive concepts. We know where we're supposed to be. Um, we know the level of intensity that we practice at. And what's nice now is we can compete at a higher level in practice. It allows us to get better exponentially because last year we couldn't even play five on five. So uh, just just an all around, just great feel, great foundation, um, and, and excited about some new faces too. Talk about the, the young players that you had last year that got so much playing time and how that will help them uh, adjust uh, even further this season. Yeah, absolutely. So two players in particular who have come back after the summer, I think that experience really helped them. Um, and they had a great summer, Lexi Bush and Abby Knackfor. Both look different physically um, in a good way and have put a lot of work in the weight room and, and in the gym. And and I think back to Lexi Bush's or, or Abby's first game last year, or first practice, I'm like, oh, my ladies, we have come a long way. So that's exciting for them. I mean, they, they, they're excited about it too, which is probably more important than me being excited about it. Who do you expect to be some of the leaders uh, for this team as, as you get ready for the 2016-2017 season? Yeah, well, first of all, it is great to have Allie Chrisman back on the floor. Um, she's worked really hard to to rehab and, and be where she is. She, I, I just, we really, I haven't had a chance to coach her much up until this year because even last year she really struggled through the year to, to get healthy. Um, and so she wasn't in practice much. So it's great to coach her. I really enjoy it. Um, it's great to have her back on the floor. She's one. Um, she, she just can shoot the ball. She has a great feel for the game um she's a on and off the court a, a phenomenal leader she 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 gets it I don't know what it is but she gets it um certainly Rachel McInerney um on and off the floor Hannah Evo's battling coming back from an ACL but she she's an amazing leader um and those three have have been doing most of our leadership and then Leah Humes who's our ju junior college transfer she is coming along she's really starting to get comfortable and it's fun to watch and um our, our team has has really meshed really well and we're always concerned about that divide, right? A lot of new players, a lot of returning players, um, change in coaching staff, and and we just feel so fortunate, Coach Sharonda Hurd and I, that we have such a group that is just willing to open their arms and say, hey, we're going to do this together, and this is what we're about and who we are, and this is this is what we're going to do. And um, so you, you don't see that line, and that's that's exciting. I know it's still early on, but uh, you obviously hit the recruiting trail hard. Uh, talk about the players that you brought in and, and what you've seen out of them so far. Yeah, so we have um, two freshman point guards, both really talented and uh, just a little bit different skill set. Um, Renee Sturm's a, a, a taller guard, and she can really go in transition. Um, and Emily Cott is she's a coach's kid, so she her high level IQ, great ball handler in tight spaces. Um, so it's fun to watch them. I mean, their heads are spinning the first week of practice. So they're like, "You want me to do what and go where and do all this stuff at the same time?" Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So that it's fun to watch. Um, but again, our our upperclassmen are helping them and and telling them, hey, we want you to lead. We want you to to do this for us. We need you to do this. And and that has helped, you know, them them get get it quicker. Um, Bray Benner and uh, Carrie Fromm from Frank and Muth. We had some size, both you know, six three. Um, Again, different. Carrie's really skilled and uses her body well, and Bray is, is very, very athletic. Um, so it's fun to watch 
watch them as well. And then um, Ashton Combs is a shooter from Emily City. Again, she's she played at a small school. So making the transition for her is, you know, the first week's been a little bit crazy. Um, but she's really starting. Today was probably her best practice, actually. So she's really starting to get it after about a week. Um, and then we have, we have Leah Humes, who's our junior college transfer, and she's just at a different level. Um, she's a gifted athlete. She is unbelievably creative with the ball. It is so much fun to watch. Sometimes in practice, I just want to get my popcorn because <laughs> It is so fun to watch her. Um, so overall, you know, contributing. I know obviously the the GLIAC uh, is, is a very strong conference. Uh, you've got a couple Division One games in here. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about the strength of this year's schedule. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't. I'd rather not. Um, yeah, I mean, night in and night out. We're even our non-conference schedule. Um, you know, we have Ursuline and Bellarmine coming in here for the Bulldog Classic, the opening week. I mean, both regionally ranked teams, NCAA tournament teams. Um, so I don't know who did that scheduling, but uh, yeah. And then we're at Bowling Green and we're at Eastern Michigan. Um, so we'll have some tough tests early, but that's why we're scrimmaging or, or doing an exhibition game at Bowling Green is so we'll be ready for, for our opening weekend. Finally, talk about the, the support you've received from the community uh, through the first year and, and how that helps the, the team here as you move forward. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our players feel that, and they talk about it all the time. We, we're getting ready to have our um, inaugural tip-off dinner this weekend, and I, you know I'm amazed that we're going to have 150 people at our dinner <laughs> and that we had to close, you know, we had to close um, registration down and how many people – we literally, we needed, you know, help with this or help with that. And how many people, you know, if they can't give financially, they're, they're helping with their time. And it really is, has been just like a family and, um, you know, win or lose always, always there. Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs here in 2016, 2017. Thanks, Rob. That's going to do it for the Ferris State women's basketball preview. Reminder, you can follow all the action online at ferrostatebulldogs.com.